Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. We hiked Lower Calf Creek Falls today. Um, today's Wednesday, so we left work right after we were done. Uh, took the 30 minute drive from Escalante to the trailhead here. Um, there's probably about 20 parking spots along the side of the road. There's more area for you to park, but um, today, I mean, it's sunset time, so we're able to find a parking spot very easily. It's a part of the National Monument, so we just, we have our interagency pass, which is great. But, um, but yeah, so the hike here, it's three miles in, three miles out, uh, fairly easy. A couple of steps you gotta do, but honestly, anyone can do it as long as you can walk easily. Um, but you end up here, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, saw probably about four or five couples on the way out. Um, but right now we're the only ones here, which is awesome. So let me show you around. So this is like the day use area. If you want to come out here, have a picnic, bring your dog, it's allowed. Um, we probably could have brought Lucas, but we didn't know. Three miles, six miles. Yeah, it's kind of hard for Lucas. But yeah, there's trees here. So if the sun was out and if it was directly on here, it'd give you a little bit of shade, which would be great for a, for like a picnic or something once you got here. Um, but we got here during sunset. It's about an hour before the sun goes down. Um, these waterfall, this waterfall is absolutely beautiful. Um, Derek does tell me though that there's an upper fall, different trail, different waterfalls, more upstream from here. So that would be cool to go see one day. Um, all right, well, we're probably gonna race back after this. We don't wanna be hiking in the dark. So uh, it's about an hour back and we gotta get there before sunset, which is at 8.11 and it's currently 6.49. So, <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys on the next trail. Bye. Hello again. Um, we're in Capitol Reef National Park. I think the last time we, we were talking to you, we were talking about how we were going to do Coyote Gulch and Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. Um, that almost happened. We bought about 200 feet of rope that we're gonna take the sneaker route, um, which drops you about 200 or so feet into the, the canyon. Um, and so they recommend some rope. It doesn't so, drop you. Like, you gotta, you gotta, yeah. It's, a, it's just a steep, it's more, right. a steeper incline. Yes, yeah, you're not. You're not repelling You're down. not repelling that. We down. don't do that. No, <laughs> um, not yet. But no, no, no. So it's just more for, for security, safety, safety yeah. purposes. So you have to go down 36 miles down Hole in the Wall Rock, uh, which is an infamous, infamously difficult road to navigate. It's like very washboardy and very bumpy. Uh, we made it about 30 miles down that road. It took an hour and a half about. Um, a few minutes from the trailhead when we got a, some reception on our cell phone uh, and a text message from the campground complaining about our dog Lucas for barking too much. Um, and asking us to come back. So we had to turn around and go back. We Lucas thought... found out how to open our blinds. Yeah. So we usually close the blinds and he has constantly gotten smarter and smarter over the months with, with how to look out the windows. Lucas is a, a miniature schnauzer, so he's very smart and also um, very anxious and, and not good with people and he like actively seeks out people that he doesn't know so he can look at them and bark at them so, and not just like a regular deep dark dog bark oh, no, it's no, no. like a, a <sighs> high-pitched alarm alarm baby frantic. crying yeah it's a howl slash bark slash mule, I, mule I, deer I, dying oh yeah sound yeah, yeah absolutely it's bad it's bad and it is obnoxious so as soon as we heard that we we're like all right he must be kind of blackout barking um so, and he's a little blind as well, so anything yeah. moves, that's it. So we really have to limit his ability to see outside. So <laughs> he's just been getting, he's been outsmarting us. So anyway, we went back. Um, we decided to get an early start to Capitol Reef since we kind of lost our opportunity for the, the big, great hike in, in Grand Staircase. So we will have to go back there, unfortunately. But it's all right. Um, this is the, the reality of RV life. We've been very lucky so far, but this is sort of what can happen. And, and sometimes it does get in the way, so... You win some, you lose some. Yeah, so, so we were scheduled, we were gonna boondock here in Capitol Reef anyways. So for us- It's a day early. We just got here a day early. We had already paid for that night there in Escalante. So there's no reason we shouldn't have left. We left and then we're here. We found a spot, which is great. 
So um, we were able to salvage the day. Yes. So now we're out. We're going to go to the visitor center, see what this place is all about, um, and maybe do a hike or two this afternoon. So. Yeah. Yeah. We'll let you know how it goes. Hello. We're in Capitol Reef National Park. So today we are doing the Hickman Bridge Trail. You guys are getting acquainted. Getting Central acquainted park. with the park. Spend some time at the visitor center. This park has a stupid name. <laughs> so this bridge or this, so this trail is one mile long, out and back. So not too long, uh, 400 feet elevation. So the trailhead is right off the main road before you even really get into the park past the visitor center. So this park is called Capitol Reef. Half of that is because of this dome you see behind us here that supposedly looks like the Capitol building. Um, the other half is because when you look at this park from the east, it looks like a reef, but it's not, and it never was. Instead, it's a big dramatic 100 mile wide or long fold in the earth from like a fault. Um, so it's a big wrinkle. It should be called like a wrinkle in time or something cool. Not Capitol Reef, which is kind of dumb. Anyway, here we are walking around. It is beautiful. Don't let the dumb name diminish the beauty of the park. So we'll let you know what it looks like when we get there. Or they could have called it the Old Fold. So this trail along, although short, has some pretty cool areas. Um, there's Derek over there some pretty cool things there's a I don't know if you can tell a natural arch here where if there is water here it goes under the rock which is pretty cool so they call that an arch um, but we're going to get into the bigger the bigger bridge slash arch and then uh, get some pictures over there I'll turn around and get back so, there's a little pool of water. There would be a pool of water here. It would be like a waterfall. It would go down under this that Derek's talking about. Under that, and then the water keeps going there. So, the more Derek jumps on this, maybe it'll break. Maybe. <laughs> We have reached the bridge. It's hard to see. Very hard to see. Because behind it is just another rock that kind of blends in. Gotta there's, go under it. There there's a natural pictures. bridge there. It's kind of cool. We're gonna get under. Now you can see the bridge. Look how cool that is. Look at this. This is so cool. All right, back we go. Derek walks over rocks. See these rocks? This is usually like a trail marker, like go this way. All right, what'd you think about the arch? I'm glad I didn't have to hike very far to get to it. That is true. So these rock formations, if you have to like go like nine miles just to see something like that, you're almost more tired than, than you care. <laughs> Like, I think a place like Coyote Gulch is worth it, right? He's gonna bring it up 19 times, FYI. Be prepared. His heart is broken because of the dog. Dog's on timeout for the week. We'll see if he gets around the obstacle courses that we built in the trailer for him not to be able to see out any window. And since we're boondocking, the reason we had to build an obstacle course is because uh, we're boondocking. So you can't, we don't have enough battery, a, a big enough battery bank to turn the AC on. So we have to, we could turn the fan on though. It's not so hot. Though. So it's not, it's in the 70s today. We need those windows open. So 
we need the windows open. And if we close them, then it would turn into a really hot, like, trailer. But today, 70s, sunny, we left the windows open for, for, for Lucas. And that's when he would look out and look for people. And if anybody else went into that boondocking area, he would freak out. So hopefully, hopefully there's no one there, one. And two, he's not able to look out the windows. All he's gonna do is bark. But he will still howl because he's whiny. He's a whiny dog. He is. Raised by his whiny dad. Oh, wow. Wow. Man, I didn't even name a name. And just see how he knew exactly <laughs> who I was talking about? That's how we know it's true. <laughs> Let's go. Or the Rocky Wrinkle. Temple of the Sun National Park. Not flat national park. <laughs> I've got it. This park is known for its famous 100 mile long water pocket fold. Water pocket fold national park. I'm not even joking. Why would you not call it that? Capitol Reef. Because of a, a dome shaped rock. It could be Stone Mountain. Now that's a dumb name for a mountain. <laughs> Water, water fold, what did I say? Water pocket fold national park. Why water pocket? Because that's what it's, that's what it's. <sighs> that face. We got to go back to the visitor center. Someone didn't read. Hmm. Hello. Say hello. Hello. We, it's Monday. This week we got our friends, Alex and Trevor over there they joined us um, they joined us for boondocking this week so we have some some hiking buddies and um, they're they parked a trailer right next to us so that's awesome um, we're really enjoying our time we played some cards last night um, and then we all work today because we all work um, remotely from our trailers so if you think you can't do it you definitely can um, we are proof that we all worked Monday through Friday or we all work today from like 8 to 4.30 uh -huh. um, with one Starlink. We used our Starlink because they don't have it. Um, we were all on video calls, Zoom calls all day long. Now able to do a no hour. issues whatsoever. And now we're in the National Park doing a hike, which is awesome. Let's show them what it looks like. So while I pan around, I'll let you know. I'll tell you about the hike. We are on the Grand Wash Trail that leads to the Frying Pan Trail. Um, this is your view when you get to the top, which is amazing. Um, it's about six miles long. It's point to point. So we were able to drop their truck off um, at the end. We drove to the beginning, it started, and then we'll go pick up the tra truck on the way back. So six miles, about 1,800 feet elevation gain, which I think technically if you did it the other way around, it would be the opposite. You would be going downhill, but ooh, I chose this today. Derek was not happy um, that we're going up instead of down, but it's a great workout. I feel like you would have done both either. I would have done both either way, but either way. All right, great trail. I'll show you some clips as we walk through it. Um, we got to see Fern's nipple. We got to see Cassidy's arch. Cool. Those are the folds. That's the water pocket fold. Very cool. Very cool, what Capitol Reef is known for. All right, <laughs> let's make it back to the truck before the sun goes down. Yeah. Until the next trail, bye. We gotta go down at some point, I'm realizing now. Just making me feel real great. Use your arms. What's that first foothold? That's awesome. This is cool. Thank you. This is cool. We're in a wash. It's called Cottonwood Wash. Right here? Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, well, I gotta get up here, though. That's pretty neat. Let's go walk down there.
How was it? It's fun. It's beautiful up there. Yeah, it's really cool. It's time to go though. It's yeah, not looking good. It's not looking great. We gotta cross this river again. Alex is trying to get signal up there. This place looks like Mars. Here. How's your, how's your dry trail? <laughs> you hit it. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, it's like a slide. It got deep. <laughs> So today's Thursday. We uh, decided to take an after work hike, six miles on the, I forgot the name, something creek. And uh, it goes six miles one way, point to point. You can start near the main road that comes into Capitol Reef and ends up at the visitor center. We're gonna do the other way around. So since Trevor and Alex are here, they parked the truck for one place. We left the truck at the visitor center. So we're able to do it, which is awesome. Look at this, the moon's out. I don't know if you can see that. That looks like a maintenance building. These rocks, formations, these mountains, everything. I think that's cactus, or castle, sorry. That's the castle. Um, we just went through the river. We hiked through the river at some points. It is beautiful. It's so much fun. Uh, there's a couple waterfalls you kind of have to go down, not in the water, but um, it's a possibility. If the water is high in the river, then you have to slide down and then fall in the pool. Um, luckily, we didn't have to do that because it is a little chilly out today, especially once the sun went down, but it's beautiful here. All right, 
We have two more days here. Sunday we head to Moab. It's just gonna get better. All right, see you later. Good morning. Happy Saturday. That's Derek. Good morning. Alex and Trevor. We are. Good morning, morning. We are on the Upper Muley Twist Trail today. It's a loop trail, 10 miles. How much elevation? 1,300. 1,300 feet elevation. Took us an hour, a little over an hour to get here. We drove up the first switchbacks. And. <laughs> And then we took this road, which you need a four-wheel drive to get over. Um, there's two trailheads. If you only have a two-wheel drive vehicle, it adds an additional, what do you think? Two miles, three, three miles, three, 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 miles, four miles, three to four miles to your hike. A but boring wash hike. Yeah, so. Take your four-wheel drive. Get your four-wheel drive vehicle, come as far as you can, start your hike. So there's an upper muley twist, which is what we're doing, 10 mile loop, then there's a lower muley twist. Um, which goes through the same canyon just on the other side. Not a loop, it's a back and forth 14 mile um, trail. So we're doing this. It's cool because you get to do the long drive to get here. You see a lot. The drive um, is awesome. Knob um, Knobs was the other difficult option. hike that has a lot of elevation gain, but it's right at that main section of the park that you drive through, the visitor center is. Most of the hikes you do are right there. And so, since it's Saturday, we know it's going to be busy there. Yeah. So we wanted we to see a different section. We wanted to get, a, get out. This is the south side of the park where Burt Trail meets Notum Road. Burt Trail will lead you all the way to Lake Powell back in Page, which is crazy, but um, we're not gonna go that far south, but it's a great drive. Um, I would say the scenic drive, the scenic drive on Notum Road is better than the scenic drive in the park, in the park where the visitor center is. Yes, 100%. Um, so if you have the option, I would definitely take Notum Road, which, and if you have an RV, there's dispersed camping on Notum Road as well. So you could look into that. If you want but all right bye we're gonna we're take our hike photobombed. and then we'll see what happens over here with these two behind the sceners <laughs> we found an arch there goes derek don't die If you do, just put your feet up and slide on your bum. You guys look great. This is pretty cool. All right. Wow. Guess we're not going up. It always I looks easier. We're going to go find another arch. Be careful with your ankles. They're getting old. Nope. Oh, the sun came out and everything. It was going to be an awesome shot. It was going to be beautiful if you could make that. That would have been really fun. That would have been really like cool. Like the sun came out in the middle of it. It was beautiful. Maybe this is a cove? That's cool. It is pretty cool. Is this yeah, like a... keep going? Look this at keeps that. going for a bit. Isn't this part of the trail? No. No, we turn. Ah. Well, sort of, kind of. But it doesn't show us going this far. Do you want to keep going? 
Look at this. This is awesome. I hear a waterfall. Look at this big rock. This is, big rock. This is super cool. Hurry up before it hits you. Oh wow. Look at this. So, this is a dead, end. a dead end. We don't know what happened. But Trevor led us in the wrong way. Oh my god. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? We're on this trail over this canyon. It is just awesome. It's not that wide. That's down. This is the trail. Pretty rocky. It's pretty awesome. We're having a really, really good time today on this trail. We, I don't think we expected it to be so adventurous, but it totally is. See? They're all excited. Look. This is amazing. Sorry for the wind. Just look at all the different styles of rocks. A big plateau, multiple plateaus. Move tomorrow. Travel day. Travel day.